Hey YouTube, I'm here with another quick video for you. It's talking about the uh, Gossip Girl Birch Box that was May's Birch Box. This is my second Birch Box. Um, my first Birch Box, I was relatively pleased with it. I learned about a new product and I ended up ordering some full size products. So. I was pleased. Um, I also heard this month's Birch Box was going to be teaming up with Stila and Dior. So that was exciting. I don't pay attention to Gossip Girl at all. I've never watched it. I don't care to and I'm not going to start. I'm gonna just talk about this box. I was really, really bummed with it. Like, I don't want to, you know, bash the company and bitch on camera but I had high expectations for this I thought it was going to be more makeup oriented and I'm just not pleased at all I don't know if I want to stop I actually got an email saying that glossy box is ready to um, be purchased and subscribed to so I'm kind of leaning towards that. I'm just not happy with this. So to start off, you have um, this little card. It's Gossip Girl Trivia Sweepstakes for enter for a chance to win $500 bird box shopping spree by tuning into the CW for the season finale of Gossip Girl. I kind of figured they had a season finale come out or something because why would Birch Boxers team up with some regular old show? They're advertising their season finale. And yellow paper. So, what is in here? Our Quiz Tea. I don't know. It's from Italy or something. Um. It's a sample. It's in a vial, which I hate vials because I always spill them. But this is what the front looks like. And on the inside it says it just gives you some little um, history lesson this place and a lot of the words are in like Italian so I don't really know what they're saying like I I'm not gonna even try because I'll probably offend people if I do it wrong but yeah this full size of this thing costs like 160 bucks yeah it's called a twist band apparently it's a headband very stretchy headband in green. Um, I guess it's cute. I don't really know how to wear these when you have bangs, but I'll keep it. I'll try it. Eh, whatever. It's a little headband. I'm not a big headband person. I don't really do anything different to my hair, but we'll see. It's an okay color. It's a nail polish called Color or a nail polish by the color club is in disco nap which is a weird name I'll probably use it on like my toes but honestly it's not that different than the other colors that I have in my nail polish collection so then I saw this the blender cleanser it's a sample size and it's to clean your beauty blender This was the first thing that I saw, so I was kind of hoping there was a beauty blender wrapped up in the tissue paper, but there wasn't. Uh, this says it's great for makeup brushes too, so that's what I'll use it for, obviously, because I don't have a beauty blender. And then they gave this. It's a note card, postcard, whatever you want to call it. It says XOXO on the front. And it's blank on the back with an envelope. They're implying that people, um, you know, text message all the time and don't 
handwrite cards. So yeah, they gave you a card to write to your friends. That's cute and all, but I don't know. I was kind of hoping there was there would be like products in this birch box and not like a note card. I'm excited for the nail polish because I love nail polish, but I was excited for this. It's a sample of the Dr. Jart Water Fuse Beauty Balm. It looks a little bit different than the regular Dr. Jart. I'm not sure what the water fuse means in the title. I was excited to try this and last night I opened it up to test it out, see if it matched my skin tone. It does. However, the thing is like full of air like there's barely any product in this i could legit like squeeze both sides touching like there's just nothing in here it's like mostly air i had enough for one sample and enough for putting it on my face today i do really like it it does match my skin tone it feels nice however i don't think there would be enough product left in this to uh, do my face again. I'm disappointed because here is a beauty balm sample I got from Sephora, the Smashbox BB cream. And just look in comparison. However, this thing is full of product. Dr. Jart is like mostly air. Like, look at that. Look at how skinny. And I mean, this one is like that. So I don't really know. I'm not too pleased with this birch box at all. I really like the idea of getting mail and especially not knowing what's coming in the mail and the element of surprise. But I'm kind of thinking maybe I should try the glossy box. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of torn. I'm really bummed out because this is only my second Birch box on the first one was good. It introduced me to the Be Fine skincare line, and I really enjoy their skincare. To um, top it all off, this birch box actually cost me fifteen dollars because um, at my bank, when you don't have money in your checking to be taken out to purchase the items that you order online or whatever they will transfer the money in your savings to your checking but they'll also charge you five dollars so my bank had to do that for me they had to manually put in uh ten dollars in my checking so it could be taken out for the birch box but they also charged me their five dollar fee it wasn't birch box it was my bank that charged me five dollars so all in all this box cost me fifteen dollars instead of the ten which sucks. Leave some insight in the comments, I guess, what you think. Um, it would be gr greatly appreciated. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.